When it comes to measuring the motor constants, you may think that you can just take a multimeter and an ammeter or, or another multimeter and just hook them up directly to the motor to measure the voltage and the current, but you can't. And, and it's, you know, it's very frustrating for me. Uh, and, and let me explain why it's a little complicated, but I think it's very educational. But our brushless outrunner motors are really, uh, electrically, the way they behave, they're three-phase AC or alternating current uh, motors. And that means that if you look at, if you take an oscilloscope and measure the voltage and, and you know, current also at, at each one of these three connectors, it's like a sine wave going up and down. Of course, it's not going to be exactly a sine wave, but it'll, it'll resemble that. And all three are out of phase with each other. So, so the voltage going into the motor is never zero. Okay, it might be zero at one of them, but it won't be zero all three at the same time. Okay, so, so first of all, if you want to measure, take a measurement directly from the motor, you need to have an R, so-called RMS multimeter, and you know this one is one of them. You know, an RMS basically means that the multimeter compensates for that sine wave not being a, uh, a, of a very nice shape. You know, it, it could be jagged or, or something like that, and it'll, it'll compensate. But again, this is a $350 multimeter. Uh, this this meter, which you know is about 50 bucks, is not an RMS multimeter. So if you take a measurement of an AC circuit, which is what the motor is, it, it'll be very inaccurate, and, and you probably won't even know about that. So that's the first caveat. So even just measuring the voltage is tricky. Uh, and of course, if you measure the voltage, you're going to be measuring in just one of the connectors, then you need to multiply, multiply it out to take, get a, a, an average value for, for all three. But the real problem is when it comes to measuring the current. Because what happens is, the voltage comes in, there's a winding in the motor, and which actually causes a, a, an inductance, and the inductance causes a delay in that current getting reflected back out to the wire. So bottom line is, if you try and measure the current, it's gonna be lower than the true value. And that, that delay, is called is the so-called power factor. So if you hear the term power factor, that's what that means. So the power factor is a way of correcting, you know. And, and I've seen places that say, oh, just take the power factor to be 0.8, and and you know that'll be the correction. But I think I think that that's going to get you into a lot of trouble because the power factor, first of all, varies by by the motor, and you know I think the smaller motors have uh, more delays, but. The, the power factor varies also with the speed of the motor. So even if you take a, an accurate measurement, uh, the motor then runs at a different speed, the power factor could be something else entirely different. So it's just very troublesome. I, I've seen circuits that you can put together that, that combine the voltage and the current from all three connections, and that's a way of getting a relatively accurate value. Of course, then the, the circuit itself has its own uh, <laughs> resistance and, and, and problems that it introduces. But that's a way of doing it. So I, 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 don't, I, I think building those circuits is just too much trouble. I, I don't recommend to do that. What I, what I do is just measure the voltage and the current at the input to the speed control, which of course, you know, the speed control itself has its own resistance. So it's not gonna be 100% accurate, but the resistance is it's not that much. So it's not gonna affect the results too much. And, and it just makes it a lot easier. You can use a watt meter, you can use the regular multimeters. And that's, I think that's the way to go, but I just thought I'd, I'd talk about that so that you know some of the caveats and some of the problems that you can run into. And till next time.